Hey guys, welcome back to Pistonet Productions. Today, I'm at Cookstown Auto Wreckers looking for some parts. Actually, I noticed this. I feel like I feel like I know the owner of this, so yeah, I just can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I know the owner of that one. Anyways, I'm here to look for a new stereo for the Fiesta Derp. Uh, I've got a road trip coming up, so I kinda wanna get that. Ooh, nice. Uh, as well as some parts for the Suburban. Apologize, this is shaky. I uh, don't have my usual little selfie stick thing, but we're into the Fords now, so this is good. Now it's just a matter of finding a Fiesta. Uh, apparently there is one here. Ooh. That's not the right year though. But there should be one somewhere around here. I can hopefully grab the head unit out of it. And if not, they might have it already taken out, but that's what I'm looking for. I finally found the Fiesta I was looking for. Searching for a while. I couldn't even tell it was a Fiesta at first just because of how banged up it is. Obviously, it's had some severe front end damage. Engine doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. But the main reason that I'm here is to come steal the radio, which it looks like it still has. So we're in business. So ooh. it's been here a bit. So I guess it's time to get into this. Um, If you ever pulling stuff from a U-Pick, check for bugs and shit before you climb in. There's nothing worse than finding a big old spider when you get in. But this looks pretty much what I'm looking for. Um, it doesn't have quite the same display, but the actual CD module that I want is behind there. So that's what I'll be doing. Hopefully I can get a good camera angle. Like I said, I didn't bring my stand with me. So, But seats are in good shape. They're actually in better shape than the one I've got. So, cool. Okay, so I got my head unit for the Fiesta. Now I gotta look for my K2500 with a 6.5 to get some coolant lines that I broke. So, yeah, seems to be in the Ford section now. There's like the Honda and Toyotas over there, getting into Dodge. It's fairly well organized here, so it's kinda, it's not too bad. Once you see a Chevy, then you gotta start kinda looking. Ooh, like that. So, kind of keep looking around to see if I can find one. See what there is. Found this bad boy. Two, three power! I don't know enough to say whether or not this would have the Ranger roller cam. I don't think it does, but that'd be kind of neat if it did um, for the turbo coupe. But kind of kind of wrapping things up on the turbo coupe. So, it looks like there's a couple of Chevys and GMs kind of spotted throughout this area so that's what i'm looking for right now see if i can find the uh the right one so some fun i kind of stumbled on back to my roots uh fsde engine i uh, don't know exactly which generation because it's got the plugs off to the side i'm assuming that's early 2000s um but uh, that's out of the protege just kind of popped by and saw that i love these engine bins just trying to see if there's anything like super cool in here maybe like a hidden gem lots of old vortec engines Big V8s, they don't seem to be super well organized, but always lots of cool stuff in here. Four cam, huh, I don't know what that is. But still on the hunt for my K2500. Um, I figured there might be one in here, but it doesn't look that way. Found a ton more engines, Jesus. Still haven't found what I'm looking for though. Probably one back there. <laughs> Bam! Super happy I came back here. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Actually, this piece right there is what I'm looking for. So, this is 6.5 uh, pre emissions, so probably the same era, probably 94, 95. Um, and yeah, this is, uh, it's got everything I'm looking for. And I actually only need that piece right there. So, sweet! It's in really good shape too, so 
pretty happy about that. Got to keep the little clip too. Don't think there's anything else I need off this engine. Wouldn't mind a couple of those bolts. Uh, turbo has been is long gone. Um, that's pretty shot. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything else. Uh, at least I know where this one is now, and I can come back to it anytime I need to. So I wonder if there's any goodies on it. I can maybe check it to see if somebody's throwing some aftermarket stuff on, but I doubt it because it is a tow truck. But yeah, I'm not seeing the relocate kit on it. Well, I've already got one, so it's not a big deal, but yeah, I don't see a relocate kit for it. But cool, that's awesome. Small victories. So I can move on as much as I want to hang out more. That's what she looks like inside. But I got my fitting, I got my stereo, sweating balls. And that's pretty much it, I think. Hey guys, so all wrapped up. I ended up only paying 60 bucks for that little bit for the Suburban. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. So I guess this will be a Patreon only thing. So thank you so much for uh, helping out guys. And you'll see those parts come into play in a future video. So really appreciate it. And thank you for all the support because really you guys help pay for that. So uh, it really means a lot.